What's up, bro? So I just went on vacation. I went down to Florida for the first time in my entire life. Never been there. And let me tell you, it was hot as fuck. Okay, it is hot down there. I am not used to that. I'm from Vermont, if you didn't know, which is up north. And so, holy shit, it was like, as soon as I got off the plane, I'm like, damn, all right, it's a different beast down here. The weather is, honestly, it was beautiful. Like, the weather was fucking perfect. But I'm not used to that heat. I'm not used to that heat. But, uh, you know, I had a great time. I really did. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I went down with my friend, my girlfriend, to go stay with my friend's girlfriend, if you follow. <laughs> and so it was four of us, um, me and my girl and my friend and his girl. And we were visiting his girlfriend down in Florida and went to the beach, uh, went to a zoo. Fucking, this is like the first time I let loose in a long time, okay? Um, and like I said, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. But you know what's interesting? I didn't work out, all right? I didn't meditate once. And I tried taking cold showers, but fuck, bro, the, the water down there is warm. Like, I don't know how you, I don't know how you guys down in Florida and down south or whatever take cold showers. Because <laughs> it was like taking a lukewarm shower. I turned on the water to all the way cold. I'm like, oh, this is going to suck. This is going to suck. Get in. I'm like, oh, this feels like a fucking hot tub in here. Like, it was just normal. So my cold showers were just ass. Like, uh, fuck, man. Like, up here in Vermont, phew, the water gets frigid. So the cold showers hit different. But down there, I couldn't even take cold showers. Didn't work out. Didn't meditate. Wasn't reading at all. You know, I was just hanging with my friends, hanging with my girlfriend. Like, it was... <laughs> I don't go on vacation often. So, like, hear me out here. Hear me out. I'm not going to lie to you. My daily routine at home is probably more fun than going on vacation. Like, I have more fun in my own environment at home doing my daily routine than I did on vacation. But that's not to say I didn't have fun on vacation. I certainly had fun. Like I let loose. I'm telling you, like we went out one night, so I got pretty drunk for the first time in a long time. Okay. And I'm being completely honest with you right here. Like I'm this self-improvement YouTuber, like, Oh, don't drink. Don't, don't do this. But cold, take cold showers, meditate, work out. Like it was actually fucking crazy because I was down there. Right. And I had a video scheduled to post. You probably, you may have seen it. It's on my channel right now. It's called three things you must do every day. And the first thing was when you're morning. And how do you do that? You take a cold shower. So I was literally down there in the video scheduled to post that was telling you to work out every day, meditate every day, and when you're morning every day. And I was doing none of them for a solid, I was there for five days, four days. I was there for four days. For those four days, I didn't do any of those three habits. And I had a video post telling you to do those three habits. So I felt like a fraud. I'm not even gonna lie. I felt like a fucking fraud. But anyway, man, obviously at home, yeah, that's my shit. I do that every fucking day. Every day. Work out, meditate, cold shower. Win my morning. Wake up early. Like, every day. And it's tough. When I was on vacation, when I was down in Florida, I was kind of overthinking. Like, fuck, man, I'm not making any progress. I'm actually falling behind on my goals. And so a part of me wanted to just go home. And if my friend and my other friend are watching this, so my close friend plus his girlfriend, if you guys are watching this, don't take offense. You know me. You know I'm a routine individual. You know I like my routine. Anyway, just had to throw that out there. But like I was saying... I'm comfortable at home. I'm in my element, right? I'm waking up early. I'm fucking ripping my cold shower. I'm getting outside, getting some nice sunlight in my eyes. I'm starting my work. And I'm going to be honest with you, bro. My work does not feel like work. I'm literally working right now by talking to this phone, by talking to you. Like, by telling my story, I'm literally working. And I do not feel like I'm working. I haven't worked a day since I quit my last job. I haven't worked a single day. <laughs> but I'm still working. Like... You know what I mean? Like in my mind, it feels like it's just, this is fun for me. My routine, my work is fun for me. So going on that vacation was kind of like, fuck, I don't really want to relax right now. I want to keep pushing, keep pushing, keep going, keep building my audience, keep making more money. 
But anyway, I tried to like my best to be present while I was down there, just be in the moment, just enjoy myself, right? Relax a little, so I did. But uh, it's so interesting that like, I genuinely have more fun doing my daily grind at home than I do going on vacation. And honestly, that's like a good sign that, hey, I've, I've made progress in the whole like masculinity spit. Like, bro, back then, my more feminine self who was like, very addicted to pleasure who loved drinking and going out would have loved vacation way more than work so i've kind of flipped the script i've made progress i've become more masculine less feminine to where it's like i love my work more than i love play right like oh shit i should make a video on why i don't drink anymore but i did go out got drunk had a great time i mean it is fun but it's like i don't know if you can tell but like Bro, I'm still trying to recover from this weekend. My sleep schedule sucked. I was hor like my sleep was horrible. Drank probably two nights out of the four. Um, so yeah, my sleep is shit. So I'm still trying to recover. I'm back home now, obviously, back in my car doing my car rant. But hey, I'm still trying to recover from that little mini vacation. Uh, you can probably tell, but it's not sunny up here. So I, obviously I miss the warm weather. I miss the sun, but, uh, yeah, man, I'm just happy to be back in my element, in my routine. So happy. I literally have more fun just doing my daily habits and recording videos. Like when I was down there, I didn't record a single video. So I was like, man, I'm not making any progress towards my YouTube. Obviously I had videos scheduled to post like the one, three things you must do every day. And I wasn't doing any of those three things. <laughs> literally feeling like a fraud like fuck why i'm telling my audience i'm telling you to do these three things but I, here i am down in florida fucking sipping a little alcohol by the pool and <laughs> not doing shit but yeah it's tough when you're on self-improvement for like a long time and this like it turns into your life like you love the daily grind you love making progress towards your goals when you take a break from it it's hard to have a lot of fun it really is, unless you can, like, separate work from play, which I did. I tried to, like I said, stay present while I was down there and just enjoy myself. But a part of me is like, hold on. I have so much fun just doing my daily routine. I love what I do. I enjoy myself every single day. My disciplined daily routine is more fun than drinking, going out, sitting by the pool, not that those things aren't fun, but I'm just saying, like, bro, I love being disciplined. I love working towards a goal of building my audience, of making more money, all of that shit. It's like, it fires me up. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know if you can relate, but if you've been on self-improvement long enough, then you probably can relate. It's like, you don't want to slack. I didn't want to slack. And I slacked. So I get a little slap on the wrist, <laughs> and now it's back to it. Back to it. I'm ready fucking in it right now i'm locked in you know what's funny progress creates happiness i'm gonna repeat i'm uh, i'm gonna repeat that progress creates happiness so think about it when i was down on vacation i wasn't making progress towards my goals i wasn't even leveling up at all i was actually leveling down going backwards for those four days but so i wasn't making progress and remember, and remember what i said man i cut ah man i can't talk it's been a while since i recorded i'm freaking rusty but remember what i said progress creates happiness so when i'm not making progress essentially i'm not creating happiness but when i'm home and i'm making progress every single day to my goals and i'm leveling up every single day doing the daily fucking habits that i preach I'm happy and I'm smiling. Show my yellow teeth. All the time. Because progress creates happiness. If you're depressed, it's because you're not making progress towards a meaningful goal in your life. Straight up. If you're not happy with your life, it's because you're not making progress. You're going backwards in life. And I've been there, bro. Of course I have. Back in my down bad days, it was there was no progress being made. So where was my happiness? I didn't have it. I didn't have any happiness. And happiness is a fleeting emotion. But like, it is true. When you make progress towards goals, 
You feel so good about yourself. You feel so good about your life. So make progress, bro. <laughs> Create that happiness for yourself. Anyway, I hope you can relate. I hope you can relate. I did have a great time, though. Vacation was great, but I'm back. And uh, it's time to go hard. Time to keep sharing my message, sharing my wisdom. My wisdom. And helping you, brother. While also helping myself. I'm on this path with you. Straight up, I am on this path with you. If I wasn't, you would be able to tell that I'm a fraud. Like what? Like when I was in Florida, I was a fraud because I literally posted that video and wasn't doing those things. But I do them every single day. And you can probably tell by the like way I speak and how passionate I am about this shit. Like self-improvement saved my fucking life. Oh, self-improvement is gay. Self-improvement is for losers. Shut the fuck up, bro. Self-improvement saved my life. <laughs> oh, you can go fuck yourself. Self-improvement is gay. You're gay. You probably have heard people say this to you. Oh, self-improvement is for losers, bro. Shut the... F like, tell them to shut the fuck up. Self-improvement has saved my life. Chances are it is saving your life. I would be depressed still. I would be addicted to porn still. Addicted to weed. I'd be escaping. My mental health would be shit. So yeah, self-improvement saved my fucking life. Anyway, I'm back. Had a little mini vacay. Which is funny. I planned it before I even... I planned it when I started posting videos on YouTube back in like fucking March. And it's interesting. I probably wouldn't have gone on vacation had I planned it after kind of getting to where I got on YouTube. Like I got to 30,000 subscribers, but I planned this trip back when I had like 200. But anyway, just a, just a little hiccup. And now we are back on my daily routine. Back to making progress every day, bro. And I want that for you as well. So with that said, I will see you in the next video. Peace.